Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to How to Program Web Pages in HTML with a little exclamation mark. Part 1, The Basics. And this is indeed The Basics. What we're gonna do to start with is we're gonna... Oh my god, still got the last tutorial one. Uh, create a little folder called Website. We website. <laughs> <laughs> My typing's a little bit off today, but it's fine. And yeah, that is indeed a new folder, and it is empty. And then we're going to go and run Notepad. If you're running on a different operating system, just find any program that is like the equivalent to Notepad. All you have to be able to do is go to Save As and be able to change this to any type of file and enter in your file type, which is... In fact, what we're going to do first, so I should probably should not have closed that. So, when you're in Notepad, go to Save As, and then go to type in, for the file name, index.htm. Now, basically, this will just, yeah, this saves it as a web page type. Now, the reason for index is because when you when a web server first loads up when you type in blah 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 dot com and you don't type in what web page it's going to like slash games or slash home then it will immediately go to index so that's that's always what you want the home page to be so if you're making a news page or just a home page that says welcome click on one of these to continue then you want to make index that web page now we're going to save that in our website folder and make sure you have all files selected under save as type and also make sure that encoding is ANSI I am i don't believe Unicode will work, it might do who knows but just to be on the safe side, save it like this beautiful now when you first go in here, it should you should be able to double click on index and it will open up in Firefox or whatever. But if you want to open up again for notepad usage, you're going to have to open it with open with and then select notepad or if it's not there, you'll have to go to recommended programs or if it's not there, then find it in there. And if all else fails, just open up notepad first, go to file, then go to open and then actually find your web page on the desktop folder so here and then just go to all files and you'll be able to open it anyway getting to the actual editing part of the web page because you've seen enough of me messing around saving it and stuff so you're ready to start coding so the first thing you should know is all instructions are done in tags so a tag is something like this I'm a tag blah 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 and then you put content within that tag such as words and stuff close the tag and different tags do different things some tags have perimeters that you can edit like it could be like size and it would be like equals blah blah blah, blah. and then that and that could be a tag as well. So that's just what a tag is. You don't need to worry about all that other stuff I was saying. You just need to know that's what a tag looks like. It's something with something inside it like that. So we're going to make our first tag, which is HTML. Now to close a tag, you use a backslash before seeing the tag again. I think that's a backslash, it may be a forward slash, I don't I don't know, I think it might be a forward slash actually. I'm just going to call it a slash from now on. <laughs> anyway, that tag just basically tells your, your uh, browser, hey, between these tags, it's going to be HTML code. Now, strictly speak speaking, you do not actually need these tags anymore because your browser, most browsers know to just stick it in there anyway. But just in case, put it in there. And just because it makes it easier to read as well. Now the next tag we're going to put in is body. Now don't worry about any spaces or any new lines that you take because HTML just ignores them and there's if you want to format your text with like new lines and stuff I'll tell you about that later but for now you can do whatever you want. You can you could have your tags laid out like, whoa, this tag's going to be here. It's not going to change anything in the actual final product. 
Anyway, as I was saying, body tag. We're gonna open the body, then we're gonna close the body. Now, basically, this tells your browser that this is where the body of the code is. And that is where you're gonna put all your cool content. And if you want, there's one or two tags that you can add in here. But we'll add that in there. I'll tell you about that next lesson. That's that's a good one for next lesson. But for now, we're going to learn how to put in text. Now, the first tag for text is P. This means paragraph. So we're going to open one, and we're going to close one. And then we can put in our text here. So we're going to put in, hello world. This, this is my first web Web page, web page, web page, web page, web page. Yeah, web page. Yay, my Xbox just made a noise. Anyhow, that's our first web page. Let's save it and let's take a look. I'll open it with Firefox. Yay, our first web page. Hello world, this is my first web page. Good times, good times. But for text, you're always going to want to format it a wee bit, aren't you? So let, let's begin with a couple of format tags just to entice people into reading what we have to say. So first one is going to be B. Now basically, this means bold. So anything within the two B tags will be bold. So we're going to type in, hey guys, this is bold and that text will be bold so let's let's go see open with firefox yeah this text is bold this bold this bold wow my english is going downhill anyway now we can do the same thing for a tag beginning with i i bet you can't guess what this does hey guys this Italic. I are caveman. And close this. Yep, it's italic. Oh, fail. Ah, go away. It's all falling to pieces, sir. Uh, close that. <laughs> Save it. And refresh. Yeah, we got some italic stuff. But. Just in case you wanted to know, why have I got so many windows open? Just in case you needed to know, just in case you had that question, you can indeed pile these up upon each other. You can do this with pretty much all tags. You can just have one within another. So let's do B within I. I mean, I within B. Hey, guy. Hey, thar. Guy. Ugh. This. Bold. And italic. Yes, I'm liking that. Close the tags, because if you don't close these, the whole rest of your page will be bold and italic. So you gotta you gotta watch and close things. There we go. So, yep, it's bold and italic. So to finish off this lesson, I'm gonna teach you one more tag. This is a very important tag. You know how I was saying earlier that it doesn't matter how many lines you take between things, it's not going to make a bit of difference when you see the actual page. Well, there's a way to actually make new lines. And this is by means of a tag. Now this tag is one of the few tags you don't actually have to close after you open it because basically once you've written it down once, it's, it's a new line. So... You can just type in BR, now this stands for break, line break, and that means new line. So just add one everywhere you want to make a new line. I know it's a bit annoying having to redo it every time you want a new line, but that's life, I'm afraid. So I've added one after each sentence, and now, yeah, awesome. Now you can also write this tag as with the lines as well. And it works exactly the same. Should Nothing should change. Yep, same. And yeah. Just make sure you use one and stay, stick with it. Because it's a bit annoying when you see code that's got some of the BR tags has a slash. Some of them don't. It's just a bit confusing and a bit stupid. So don't do that. 
Okay, now that has basically been your first tutorial. I know it's a bit difficult at first, but you will get used to it. It's it's nothing complicated. This is this isn't C plus plus or anything. There's no real syntax. Just write things where you want them. Yeah, and it's always good to format your page with spaces and stuff where tags open and close, and it makes it easier to read for when you want to come back and edit. Okay, this has been the first tutorial for HTML. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back for more tutorials later. I'll be doing game making and stuff, but and I'll also be continuing this series, obviously. And tell me, tell me how I did. And I'll have to edit this on the YouTube website because I can't actually get an editing program. So that's a good experiment. If this looks okay, then the YouTube editor works.